Hi class, this is another of our video booths. Because my family's going out of town, there may not be a video booth for a couple of days, but that's okay. The idea behind these is to give you a little like head start on things or a little reinforcement on things that we've done in class so we can work in a little more accelerated pace. Um, again, there's no substitute for doing things. One of the things I wanted to share with you, which was written on a sheet somewhere, is how to draw resonance, form, resonance forms for polycyclic aromatics, or what we call benzenoid compounds. I actually worked out my own method for this. I don't think you'll find it in textbooks. And what I'm talking about here is not, um, you know, intermediates. I'm talking about neutral structures. How do you tell the benzene story when it's a polycyclic aromatic? So I have this method I use. So for example, supposing I wanted to write all the, the, all the um, resonance forms for this compound, which, is, which you know is anthracene. Okay? This is how I do it. The first thing, first thing you want to do is cycle around all existing or obvious benzene rings. Sequentially until all pi bonds are on the outer, I'll put this in quotes, ring. Okay, now I can, I can share these rules with you, but the truth is, until I do it, it doesn't have a whole lot of meaning. So what I want to do is cycle around existing benzene rings. I really see two of them. Um, there's one here, there's one here. All right, you do this sequentially until everything's on the outer ring. So I'm going to work on this benzene ring right here. By cycling, what we mean is draw the Kekulé form. Okay, this is called the Kekulé form. When you go from this to this, this is neutral resonance. It tells a different story than the charged resonance we've been discussing in class. This is called a Kekulé. After who? August Kekulé, our favorite organic chemist. Okay, now I'm going to take this ring and cycle it around. Okay, I'm drawing the Kekulé form. This is going to take a couple of boards to do this because it's a big molecule. Okay, so I'm drawing my anthracene framework. And you will see that upon doing this, I have achieved the goal in that I have all the double bonds on the outer limits or on what I call the big outer ring. Okay, once you do that, the next movement is you need to cycle around the outer ring. It's like you're doing a giant, you're doing like a giant Kekulé move, okay? And again, the most important thing is what we're doing over here, okay? So what do I want to do? I'm going to take this ring and work it all the way around the outside, like this hopping it around. Notice we don't stop because we don't want to generate charge. This is a neutral structure. Okay, so what do we get? Can you still see this? Mm -hmm. Like well see it? Mm -hmm. Okay, this is like the worst looking benzene ring ever. Or worst looking anthracene ever. I would get this. Boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Like that. Okay? So I've got one resonance form, two resonance forms, three resonance forms. Why are these different? Because you view each position holding the double bond as different. Notice neither of these have pi bonds in the crossbars. Could I superimpose this on top of this? Yes. But remember, in resonance, each position is considered to be unique. Just like here, I could super, superimpose this benzene on that benzene. That's good in resonance. All right, now, once you get through this part, the next level, I'm going to erase these instructions. I'm up to three now. 
What you do next is you cycle any new benzenes sequentially until you are redundant. Now again, this is my own method. It's not proven for every single aromatic, but it's always worked for me. So I take this, so what's happened here is I cycled around the outside, I cycled around this benzene, everything was on the outside. This could take more than one maneuver depending on the size of the structure. Now I've got a new benzene over here. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a new benzene. So now I'm going to cycle around that benzene. So I'm cycling. Okay, what do I get? My rings are getting smaller and smaller. I hope they can be seen. I'm still drawing resonance forms. I just cycled it. Okay, how are things? Now this form is super imposable on this form, but it's not the same. Okay, so what do I do? I haven't achieved redundancy. What do I do? I cycle around new benzene sequentially until redundancy occurs. I have a new benzene right here, so I'm going to cycle around it. Here I go. Mark, can you really see these? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to cycle around this one. And presto, the, the method has worked, okay? This is exactly the same as this resonance form. So this one gets ditched, okay, until redundancy occurs. Redundancy is not necessarily superimposability. It means the double bonds are in exactly the same positions in these rings, which I'll call A, B, and C. Now, what story do these tell? The real structure is a hybrid of all four of these, and these really tell a story about what the pi density is like in each position. So, for example, if I were looking at this bond, that's the same as this bond, the same as this bond, the same as this bond. This is telling you at this position there's three quarters pi, pi density at that position. If I took, for example, this position, there's no bond, no bond, bond, no bond. This would have three quarter, this would only have one quarter pi density at that, that position. So these combined actually tell the story of what the pi density is like. Okay, and we'll do another one like that in class. How much time do I have left? It's eight minutes so far. Okay, one thing I forgot to say in class, and I will repeat this. We'll do another example, but looking at these will help you to follow things better in class. One thing I forgot to say is that there's one reaction. I, today in class I listed all the peculiarities of electrophilic aromatic substitution, and I neglected one thing. And what I neglected is that when you have um, an activated aromatic, a highly activated aromatic, for example, if you have this, or if you have this, you can do bromination or halogenation without a catalyst. And what I mean by this is if I just add bromine to phenol, I will get a mixture of this and this, okay, similarly here, okay, I get a mixture of ortho and para chloroanilins, okay. So the point is, these rings are so activated, and, and their methyl counterparts so activated that you do not need the iron trichloride catalyst in there, okay? So I'll see you in class tomorrow or Friday.